one of the only choices that you have. Like, it, like, oh, yeah. like, like, if you if you're gonna choose one last warrior, it's most likely gonna be he's up there, man. Yep. Buzz, like, if Dino. aliens invaded right now, you have to like. I had a money match oh, wait, them it, all in a row. <laughs> oh, oh, in Smash, I thought you meant like punch them in the face. I'm like, no, I'm choosing Kool Aid actually. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, uh, I'm actually gonna with. take uh, Will Smith and uh, a dog. Yeah, exactly. Nice. nice. Or in this case, uh, Chris Hemsworth and uh, Tessa Thompson. I'm gonna pretend I get all these pop culture references. I'm not going to. That Koopa, was that no was one knows great. What you're talking about, yeah, Koopa, <laughs> your references are amazing. I gotta go, man. <laughs> oh, your God. turn. <laughs> so <laughs> we were talking about the Pikmin earlier and how I, to me, it kind of feels a little more difficult to get rid of them. But Lucina's gonna have no problem slashing those things off of her. Yeah. That, that's for sure. This dude. matchup, to my knowledge, was like rough for Olimar, like already, like going back to Smash Four. So. Oh, was it? To my knowledge, because I think back to like Momocon when Nairo was down 2-0 against Myron, and he picked Lucina in reverse three Odom, so. He started Paula? No. In Smash 4? Oh, oh, you're talking about in Smash 4. Yeah, oh, in Momocon. Yes, he was Paula. Just, uh, yeah. Nairo's Paula oh, was Smash 4. Oh, God. That was Quite sick, quick. dude. <laughs> good awareness from the buzz. I mean, the tricky thing about that, too, it was obviously like a good shot from the buzz, but if he whiffs that, he just threw away a purple Pikmin, which sucks. Like, if he didn't get that kill there, that's that a bad situation. Nice back air there from Kool Aid. Yeah, being off stage generally a bad situation against oh, Lucina. Dude, he did the 360. Oh, it, go get him. <laughs> he's like him. He just spun around, dude. Nice, good job by Kool Aid there, tying it up in terms of stocks. The buzz though, just gonna be just gonna be chilling a little bit. Kool Aid trying to take his time and go in. Here we go, a couple up tilts, up air. Oh my God, yep. racking it That's up. That's the classic, man. The four piece. Not only that, a dancing blade afterwards for good measure, 51% on the buzz of Omar. That's a lot, dude. He's got to start fearing forward smashing about 20, 25%. So, like, another exchange of neutral, basically. Maybe oh, yeah, one, one or two. Yeah, now that you can do it straight out of your dash, the down tilt technique oh, setup is so good with it. Oh, but the buzz making all that damage appear oh. out of nowhere, and a spike, too. There goes Lucina down to the crowd. They're going to put her right back up. One yeah, more was, chance here in this that game. Was, that was absolutely nasty, by the way. Like, what a clutch play by the buzz, man. I gotta say, that was a lot of credit to him there. Yeah. Was, Kool Aid was definitely looking like really strong for. I mean, he's still looking really strong IRL, but you know, strong <laughs> in terms of that stock. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, the deficit's not so bad, but. You're I mean, the buzz could win you're the welcome, set, but dude. who's gonna win in the in the arm wrestling match? Let's be real here. Does the buzz get to use both of his hands? <laughs> nah, even still, I got. Cool I don't know. Do anybody want to hit me up for a side bet? Super duper jacked. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, okay. See, that's what I'm saying though. He forward aired it and he couldn't get rid of the white pick. I'm telling you, man. Like, it just it, to me, it just feels kind of harder to get rid of Pikmin. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know how you get like stats in there or anything, but hopefully probably the soil he's using or something. They're persistent in the man. soil. The soil. <laughs> he's using Miracle Grow. <laughs> he just motivates them a little bit more. Like, he just gives them a pep talk. He's like, guys, I really need you to hold on here. We'll Ew. Ooh, it works. Ooh, that animation nice. looks disgusting. Nice, man. Yeah, that up smash, man. Definitely one of the best moves in the game. I think it comes on like frame 11 or 12, something mad, very early. Mad save and combos into itself, all that, yeah. good, all that good nonsense. Yeah, it's crazy. Or you know what? Maybe that's it, it has like 11 frames of end lag or something ridiculous. I've heard uh, I've heard some numbers, but nothing to confirm yet. So I'm going to do the old internet. I've heard some numbers too. Like 16. 45 is 80. Not bad. Not a bad choice. Heard it, man. Anyway, game two. I, mean, I, got, I got nothing. Number two. I, I can't count. So that doesn't mean you can't hear numbers. But anyway, you know here you we are. It. Pokemon Stadium two. There's another one for you right there. <laughs> no, that was good. All right, down throw forward there. The classic. Thirty-seven afterwards and racking up even more. Almost fifty. Man, I'm telling you, like Olimar, his damage output is just super ridiculous. Yeah, dude. it's like Crazy. I said. Like you blink and you're suddenly at death percent. You know, right? The lineup he has. Yeah, of course, not without flaw, though. He's got pretty stubby buttons. Other than his Pikmin, the Pikmin in the air and on the ground pretty much all the time. Anytime he attacks with Pikmin, you can just go right through them with attacks. Right. So I feel like like on paper, like Olimar's play style and like the way his characters build, if you were just to describe the way that he plays to people, you'd be like, that sounds almost unbeatable. You know what I mean? Like the way that he <laughs> ranges out, his range is amazing, like the way he can zone out. He racks up damage super fast, and his up smash kills super early. Like, he just sounds like an incredible character, and he really is, too. I mean, he's got to be, like, I don't know, top 10-ish character. Oh, yeah. And right? he can recover from pretty much anywhere. Yeah, he's got to toss away his Pikmin, you know, for that. But, yeah. Either way, I mean, Kool-Aid's trying to stay alive in the first stock. 164% on the Lucina. Ooh, what shield. is going on? Yeah, dude, yeah. shield chicken right there. Did, did, did you not see the, the trailer? You cannot roll multiple times in a row now. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, your old Dodge Decay is going to come in. 
dodge decay. I think I, I think I messed that part of dodge ball. Yeah, no, I made okay. it up. That's good. Cool. I like it. I like yeah. it. Well, it's mine now. So the dodge decay yeah. really coming to play. <laughs> is that when, is that when Vince Vaughn like lets Globo Jim just like rot? That's as a <laughs> dodge decay. I think Koopa said that one actually. <laughs> I think that was like Kyle original right there. <laughs> really going way off oh, stage man. there. Able to pick up a yellow Pikmin. The, not quite the target he was looking for, to be honest with you. Yeah, just trying to secure the stock right now, but the buzz uh, actually hasn't put any room between him and Kool-Aid right now, so that's kind of strange. I'd like to see somebody go like that long without getting any damage on them, right. even though someone's playing Chase. Good use of forward air, forward air. That uh, is just going to go to Lucina basically every day of the week, unless the buzz like pulls up forward super fast. Okay, Dancing Blade. Nah, doesn't connect all the hits. 150 on Olimar. It's hard to do, man. Forward throw. 160 even harder. And the buzz just keeps swinging, man. Absolutely yeah. no fear. Even at 158, he's still coming off the edge dude, with an attack. Connecting. Oh, my God, dude. He might get another KO before losing the stock. That's for sure. Yeah, man. Dude, dude, blue is just threatening. You know what he wants. Yeah, man. There we go. Just going to close it with up tilt. Ooh, and the taunt. Kool-Aid, you are ooh, not in a position where you want to be, you know, enticing the buzz to come smack you even harder. That's true. Uh, and he does just that, actually. Yeah, smack hard stuff. he did. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the buzz, the buzz smacks. <laughs> that's his, his tag is the buzz smash. It should just be uh, it, the buzz, the buzz smack. Oh, is it ultimate? Yeah, it's the buzz he's had a couple, Oh, it's the buzz smash. He's, oh, okay, when, he's, when he's Palu, it's ultra. That's why, because he does like tilt stick or whatever. Yeah, tilt and smash, yeah. yeah. Definitely smash stick with Almar. <laughs> Dude, yeah, his tilts are garbage. That's the one thing that would be on his character sheet. It's like, ah, eh, you know, they're not, you know, his tilts, he's not going to use them. But his smashes are like tilts anyway. Like, you don't really need it. In either case, Kool Aid having a hard time winning neutral, man. I mean, this is one of the things that Olimar really accelerates. Oh, my oh God. God. Dude. That shield damage is crazy. Yeah, I was just going to bring up this is a very like powerful lineup that the Buzz has uh, out right now. So. And a very powerful lead, too. Especially against a character like Almar, rushing in haphazardly against him is so dangerous. Yeah. He's got he's got the Lakers lineup right now. He <laughs> <laughs> does the Wario lineup, man. The Wario, yeah. Oh God, that was KO, man. That was crazy. You know, yeah. Wario actually used to be a power forward for the Lakers. I think you were say, I think you say Wario's gonna be. He was a Pikmin at one point. I was like, wow. <laughs> in, in a past that's, life. that's crazy. He, he was an intern with Almar for a while. Probably tried to exploit their labor. Weird times at Nintendo. <laughs> wow, that's messed up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Olimar's doing it, and nobody's nobody's saying anything about it. I feel like he's friends with the Pikmin, though, isn't he? he They're kills, dying! He kills, he kills many of them, They're though. Dying. You're right. No, you're right. He's an evil man. Ooh. He's working them Did to he death. Taunt? No? I don't think the buzz... He's not a taunter. He's a lot of things. He's not a taunter. That's true. He, he lets the game do speaking for him. Hold he lets on. the game taunt for him. That's right. That's right, Koopa. Oh, there we That's go. Right. That up smash. <laughs> Dancing Blade, man. <laughs> that poor red Pikmin. Did you see his reaction? He's like, whoa! <laughs> I'm in here. I feel like you're very prone to falling out of uh, Lucina and Krom's Dancing Blades in this game. Roy's and Marth's are, because they have sour spots, a little right. bit more reliable on the linking hits. But man, Ooh, yeah. you hate to see that kind of thing happen. Kool-Aid finally was reestablishing himself a little bit, but just going to fall out and meet his fate there. So DeBuzz, a game away from earning himself a trip into the Losers Finals against Light. Play against Light, yeah, for sure. He's one game away, like you said. And here's like an interesting thing I was thinking about, too. Obviously, DeBuzz. His two characters you've got Olimar, of course, but also the Palu. He must have watched the way that Jen was playing his Kool-Aid. That's kind of like, you know, bracket luck. Like, I believe in it in, like, a lot of different ways. And that, like, might have been some bracket luck for the Buzz. Like, he got a free I see, five, I see five, game, five game set to study Kool-Aid and how he plays against Palu. Make, it in, make an informed decision, you know what I mean? I think he would go Olimar either way. But at the same time, like, he got to watch that whole set and be like, okay, figure this out. Yep. I'm going to go I'm gonna go Olimar. It's worked out for two games so far. Yeah, I feel like Lucina's a good pick against both <laughs> of DeBuzz's characters, on? but of course, yeah. he's still more familiar with Olimar than Politana, regardless right. of what he played mostly in the first couple yeah. weeks of the game. You Brawl, know, man. this guy is a born and bred Olimar player. He is, man. You know, like in Brawl, too, I'm surprised he didn't play Ice Climbers a little bit, too. I feel like they're kind of in his wheelhouse as well. Maybe. You know what I mean? Let's go back in time and make sure it happens. Let's ask like, him. Yeah, they're less about keep away and more just about, like, extreme patience for that one opening. Dude, yeah. That's like. like the buzz is a patient master, man. Speaking of extreme yeah, yeah. patience, uh, Kool Aid is uh, showing off a lot of that yeah. in the early phase. He was just kind of like standing on the top of the platform, not doing anything. So oh, I'm curious, like, what's going through his mind right now. He's trying to change up the gameplay, man. The first two games, it, whatever he's doing wasn't working. So he's just trying to do something different to buzz, man. God. Racking up the damage, taking a KO. Only 49% on Olimar. Even though he's a very light character, that's not a whole lot. Oh, God. 
Oh, and Kool-Aid just swinging for the fences right now. Yeah, yeah. wow, DeBuzz, he, he reacted to that, I feel like, because the up smash was so little lag. Right. But he just couldn't get there in time. That's yeah. crazy, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, if you're an Olimar main, you're going to up smash. If it doesn't connect, you've got to be, like, training yourself to look for what they're going to do afterwards because, I mean, you're in a good situation. Yeah. Yeah, and most all of our mains probably just looking for that next up Another smash. Another up smash, yes, yeah. exactly. Why not? And the cycle just continues forever, you know what I mean? If at first it doesn't succeed, I'll roll and try it again. again. Wow, what a recovery from DeBuzz. You see the little fadeaway, the little hop above him. That was so smart, dude. Yeah, he's just ever so slightly just out of Kool-Aid range. Yeah, little things like that I feel like people don't appreciate enough about uh, DeBuzz's gameplay, man. He's super sick. Oh, he's still just trying to get this stock off, yeah. man, at all costs. And it is going to cost him a stock. I feel like Cool is kind of running out of steam right now. Like, he's going for a lot of these home run options, and he's getting exploited heavily it's for a, it. It's a marathon of a day and a five-game five, five game set, you know, potentially five-game set against the Buzz. The Buzz, like, that's what he's saying, man. His tournament endurance is ridiculously good. Like, he's been playing the long game for a super long time, so. Yeah, it doesn't seem to face him at all. You know? But he's the one calling the shots, you know what I mean? He's feeling good. He's loving life right now. Yeah, and of course, the way to beat a character like Olimar, especially in the hands of DeBuzz, is not for these home run options. You want to take base yeah, hits no. over yep. and over and over again until you can right. finally get the score going. Which is so hard to do, though. But that's exactly why DeBuzz does the strategy. He's so good at it. Dude. Oh, yeah. In the long game, I'm always most likely going to bet money on DeBuzz. For sure. He's, he's a very good bet. Back throw here. DeBuzz trying to seal out the set, trying to make it a quick 3-0. Move on and try to take on uh, Young Light, who's waiting uh, in the Losers Finals. Down smash. Wow. Man, just imagine playing three games straight against the Buzz and like the frustration it must cause. Yeah. Man, these walls are so good. He's making me approach because I don't want these Pikmin latching onto me. But every time he does or I do, he has an answer for it. And that there it goes. Man. Yeah, that's yeah that's man. Set right there. And albeit a, you know, kind of a deflating loss right there for Kool Aid, a quick three zero at the hands of the Buzz. Kool Aid had a good day though, man. I think he was the four seed. I think the top yep. four uh, fell right into place where they should. So Kool Aid getting fourth. And then the combination of Light, Mars, and DeBuzz getting top three uh, is exactly how it was seeded. I think top seed, I think DeBuzz was number one, actually. But they did that mostly so they'd separate Mars and Light in the bracket. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. Not